Grand Prix has been a tradition at Purdue since it was founded in 1958, and it has gained popularity as the greatest spectacle in college racing. Grand Prix is a way for students to expand their skills and knowledge in the engineering field. Every spring, 33 teams compete in a 50-mile, 160-lap race. And this year, the Society of Women Engineers is hoping to make their mark into Grand Prix history. Hi, my name is Marissa Zahn. I am a senior in mechanical engineering, and I started out with SWE my freshman year of college. So they basically send us a letter the summer before inviting us, if you're a female engineering student, to join their organization. So I said, why not? I wanted to meet fellow female engineers and like learn more about SWE and what opportunities it could present to me. And one of those opportunities was Grand Prix. So basically in the fall, they had a little fair offering their different projects. And I saw a Grand Prix, saw racing, and thought that would be really fun and really cool. And I really wanted to be like hands-on and work with tools and make things go fast. There aren't many women on the racetrack, but that number has been increasing as women gain interest in the engineering field. The Purdue Chapter of Society of Women Engineers was originally chartered in the 50s, and that's actually when Grand Prix started as well. However, the Society of Women Engineers didn't actually participate in Grand Prix until about 1974. When we started out, we're the only all-female team. So over the years, through Grand Prix, we have had one top five finish, where we finished fifth place four years ago, and then also we have won one pole position as well. So this past year, we actually got a new cart for the first time in about 16 years. Through our sponsorship through Corning, they gave us some money and we were able to build this brand new cart and we're really hoping to have a good finish this year to have a good representation. Throughout the year, teams work on and practice with their carts in order to ensure they are ready for qualifications and the final race. For rookie drivers, this can be difficult. My freshman and sophomore year, I was part of the pit crew. So basically staying in the pits or going out as track worker and making sure we can at least qualify and get into the race. And then this last past year, I was pit crew chief as well. In my first year as pit crew chief, we did not qualify, actually, sadly enough. We had some cart difficulties. So this year is really exciting that we do have a new cart and we won't have those difficulties probably anymore. And this year, I actually stepped down as pit crew chief and I'm now a driver. So it's really exciting for me to be able to drive a brand new cart. Like I said, we haven't had a new one in 16 years. So therefore, to drive the new cart for this team is really exciting and I really want to do well this year. There is no other feeling like being in a race cart. The wind, the adrenaline, and the road conditions all factor into how a driver performs. It is so much different than driving a car. A lot of people don't realize that racing is very different from driving. So for instance, on a go-kart, you do not have a suspension, so you feel every single bump in the road. So it's very bumpy ride. Also, there's no such thing as power steering. When I talk to other people about go-karting, I tell them, this is your power steering. It's all muscle. So basically, our weight minimum for Grand Prix is 350 pounds with driver in the cart. So you are taking a 45 mile per hour cart and trying to turn 350 pounds of it at any moment. So it's a very physical activity as well. And just basically, the goal is to go fast. You have to approach each corner as fast as possible. So you have to keep testing yourself, push it a little bit farther each time. And at one point you're gonna push it so far that you're going too fast and then you spin out, which is the very scary part. It's because if, for instance, if you have other drivers around you, you don't know what they're doing. So therefore it's a very mental game as well. It's physical and mental. About 10 things are going through your head at any moment. You're not thinking about the turn you're in, you're thinking two turns ahead of where you're going. And like I said, you also have to pay attention to what other people are doing. So it's very exciting though, because like I said, you get to go fast in a go-kart. Like if you're so low to the ground, it's very different, like I said, than driving a normal vehicle. So I'm excited about it, but I definitely know I need more practice to feel more comfortable with it. Every racer on the track during Grand Prix wants to prove something and show all of their hard work. It is an opportunity to be a part of the greatest spectacle in college racing. For the Society of Women Engineers, it is also a way to get involved and to get more women participating in engineering outside of the classroom. We should be competing in this event every year. We just want to represent SWE on campus and show that we are a large organization and that we want others to promote women going into engineering and technology as well. So this is a great representation of that because this is an engineering project that's outside of the classroom. It's very technical oriented and what we learn in the classroom is only theory. So we give our members a chance to get hands-on with tools, which is great team building experience, great resume builder, and basically we are able to promote like women going into these technical fields and gain that interest. 
we are a minority in the engineering field and then as racing and well as in racing as well we're a minority as well so it's really great to have a female representation at this such big event and tradition for purdue we are the second female team out on the track now we used to be the only one how are the engineering sorority as well as competing this past two years so it's really exciting to see more females coming into it and participating we're just having a bigger representation it's just a great thing to show our members that you can go in any field you want and still be competitive or successful we take this very seriously so i'm very proud of that personally that we can be competitive out on the track you know we're not and be coming in last place. Like I said, three years ago we won fifth place, which was amazing because that was our first fifth like top five finish ever. So definitely we got respect from all the other teams out there. So I'm really proud in the past 40 years that we can still stick with it and have a good showing every year.